Husband Dozen Waifus, welcome back to another reaction of the Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World. The last question of the day, I asked you guys to recommend some isekai fantasy anime over to uh, to me. And one that got put a lot was Reincarnated as a Slime. Of course, I watched that one. Every, almost everyone's watched that anime. It's like a top isekai. And then another one is uh, Isekai Smartphone. I said that anime was trash in a good way. <laughs> this question of the day. Who is your favorite fantasy anime or isekai anime protagonist? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, let's hop into this episode of the Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World. Oh, that's right. He's he's fighting the teacher, dude. Professor Gray. I completely forgot everything. But Professor Gray, cute ass, turning into mother freaking Death Note over here. Oh, he, why, why is he all frozen up? Is it is it uh the drawbacks of being the Ice Blade Sorcerer? Oh, completely dispelled. <laughs> Professor Gray just getting easy clapped, bro. <laughs> Wait, did it did he did he slow down the flames coming towards him? Lock registration. Bruh. <laughs> He's so broken. What is the biggest difference between fire and ice based sorcery? Is whether code used to accelerate or decelerate the particles vibration? That too much science, too much science. Ice sorcery uses deceleration to slow down. Many sorcerers only execute that processing on a subconscious level. He created a code that I'm able to control both deceleration and anchoring with such precision that an average person could never emulate it. Holy! Yo, Ray White! Ray White literally saying he's just built differently. I am able to reverse code theory. Before me, all sorcery returns to the mind. Bro! Okay, so there's definitely a drawback uh, since he's bleeding. It seems like there's drawback in his ice blade form because it seems like he his body could barely handle the cold. He's like Ice Dobby. Dude, she look like she look like Death Note attack on Titan, Colossal Titan. <laughs> Mind infiltration sorcery. Nothing is penetrating our boy Ray. Dude, this is the opening. This is the opening. Yo, Matt, Matt is awake. Matt is awake. The tch guy, this guy, he's awake. He's seeing right before his eyes while holding thick Brock right in front of him. That's what he wanted. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> that on beat close up to his eyes. I knew it, bro. It had to be something like that. So there, it seems like there are definitely drawbacks to him being the Ice Blade Sorcerer. Bruh. Oh, damn. Dude, someone someone put fire on our guy, bro. He's frozen. <laughs> He's Elsa right now. Who got healing magic? Oh, man. What a, what a great start to the episode, dude. Intensity. Passion. Flashback to when his teacher picked him up. Is she show his master? When did you become a mom, Lydia? Oh, so she was the Ice Blade Sorcerer! The village he's from is special. It's a completely independent domain inside the country. That's fudged, bro. That's a child. Performing rituals to call gods. But they're gonna pin that on a child, dude? That's just a child, bro. <laughs> I hear he's regained consciousness. Oh, she seemed, she seemed to care about Ray from the very get-go, man. She's only, he's only answering to Lydia. <laughs> oh, they're gonna fight for who gets to be close to Ray. Caro, Caro! <laughs> Dumb pink. So, so what is her power? Is she the love sorcerer? Aw, that's good. He's surrounded. Oh, he did say he was always surrounded with women. Dang, Lydia! <laughs> of course, she wants to take Ray. <laughs> Aww. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. They're just like, all right, we'll just abandon this child. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, they're gonna adopt, give him to someone. I'm, I'm assuming Ain Ainsworth might be a captain too, or someone of high, high status. Oh, look at Ray. <laughs> now, now he's just a woman's man, bro. Hey, they're down though. Hey, that's what he became. That's what he became. Ice Blade Sorcerer Jr. Hey, look, he's smiling and everything. Oh, look how hype he is. Oh, that was so touching. Oh, was this the opening? 
Oh, is that Ray? Ray with the icicle blades. Holy. A child at war, bro. Overheating, excessive use of sorcery. So can you overheat with ice powers? Is that is that what happened to Ray? Ray, of course, doesn't want to go back. Yeah, he's really young to be in the battlefield. Look at Ray speaking his feelings now. And Carol, I guess. <laughs> Oh, Howard got clapped. It, 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 I'm assuming this is him overheating. Overheating with ice? No, not Howard! Howard, no! How did she get into a wheelchair? Oh, no, okay, so this is current. This is current stuff. Okay, I was like, I was like, wait a second. So for slight magical energy deficiency, so how do you fix that? Do you, like, plug them into the wall? He's getting praise. He did a good job. He protected his friends. Aw, she was super worried. Of course, she puts up this front <laughs> in front of Ray. But, <laughs> Carol! Or what is it, Carla? Carla! Full of preoccupied with bloodlines. An ordinary like yourself would only be unhappy. He just wanted to live a normal life. I understand she was just trying to protect him. Dude, Lydia is a true mommy, man. Dude, she's been through it. Dude, Lydia, Lydia's so great. Oh, she's been so worried. <laughs> she's been hiding it. I'm sure he appreciates her so much more than he already did. <laughs> They're just waiting. I mean, that shouldn't change anything. He's still a great guy, you know? <laughs> Dude, it, my brain is just like, he, over, he, he overheated with ice. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. That's why she's on wheelchairs, because of him. And we're not talking about that type of, you know, he put her in a wheelchair because of that. Not, not because of that. Aw, oh, dude. Of course, they, of course they don't, I don't think they care about it that much. Alright, Evie, go grab his other hand, come on! Make this a BL, damn it! No! Evie, grab his hand! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, he has such good friends. Oh, Howard. Howard! I wonder if he's going to introduce him to a C-show now. Oh, no, it's the ch guy. Oh, Mr. Aluminum! Dude, he's shook. He's freaking shook. I know he's shook. Dude, he's so grown. <laughs> but that's not everything true. Bloodline and talent is not everything. Effort and the right environment are necessary, too. Hard work beats talent every single time, my boy. <laughs> I love how he says all I did was end up in a good environment. The good environment being a war setting. But I think it was just with the right people. You're the only one who can provide yourself with the answer you seek. Yo! Ray dropping dimes right now! Aw, oh, I, I hope these two become good friends, man. Even though Mr. Aluminum was kind of like a bish. Helena Grady. Helena Grady! Ah, Carol! <laughs> <laughs> She's not a dude. Carol! Oh, let's go! Yo, Carol! <laughs> Ray, Ray's like, shit! <laughs> oh my... Oh. <laughs> you know when you kind of been blue-balling yourself for a long time? You're waiting for that release? This was that release. Finally, Ray being able to tell his friends who he really is. The Ice Blade Sorcerer. Now, we learn a bit about why... He is unable to use magic that well is because of the Kronos lock that he has. So because he doesn't want to overheat, even though he uses ice powers, maybe over ice, over, over freeze, maybe. But I guess the overheat is a universal term that they're going with. Overheating meaning, meaning when he just too much of his power and, and he loses control, which is what happened on the battlefield. I'm assuming the uh, injuries and why his master, why Lydia is in a wheelchair is because of Ray overheating. And she, I'm pretty, pretty sure that she helped save him in that way. But man, this episode kind of went a little, this episode went deep. And I think everything that this anime was missing was pretty presented in this episode the ray backstory everything that was explained then and there ray telling his friends who he truly is kind of like the conclusion of the aluminum arc as i say with allium and ray kind of like accepting each other i think that's what needed to happen which is great but also ray hearing that his friends are going to accept him even though he is the ice blade sorcerer now the best part about this episode is seeing Carol and carla
everything is a 10 out of 10 man i actually really enjoyed this episode i hope i don't get a copyright claim on this one too because I, I enjoyed reborn to master the blade if you guys did not know i had to put that series uh on private because i was getting copyright from uh from Beat. Hopefully we don't get it here. <laughs> but nonetheless, fantastic episode of the Ice Blade Sorcerer. I really, really enjoyed this anime a lot. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.